What's up guys, this is Blake with RepairLink. I have a project here I've been wanting to try for a while. I want to take this old compressor that come out of a refrigerator, it's used, and I want to try and turn it into something I can use, such as a vacuum pump. So this is what one supposed to look like that you go out and buy, but if you don't have enough money, I'm going to attempt to show you how to turn this into that. Okay guys, a few things you're going to need are a pair of channel locks, as you're going to be used for crimping the copper once we put our valves in. You're going to need some sandpaper. If you got an old compressor, the uh, connectors or uh, tubing may be dirty and you'll have to sand that down clean where the solder is stick. You're going to need old relay off of a working compressor or just a, a good relay that you know is good. Uh, that's going to be used to actually power power the unit. Um, wire strippers, that's just because you're going to need to put quarter inch ends on an old cord. And that's going to be what we hook up to the compressor to get it running. You're going to need two valves solder in. That's going to be for the in and the out. You're going to need some solder, 15% silver, just a couple old pieces I had laying around. We'll try to stretch it out to make it work. Uh, some flux, makes it a little bit easier to solder with. And finally, you're going to need a torch. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take off the tape that we were covering up the open spots with. It's always a good idea to do this whenever you're storing an old compressor that you may use again. Now is when you would sand the fittings down. Make sure not to get any uh, sandpaper actually in the lines themselves, but uh, I'm not going to sand mine because mine are good enough for my purposes. Now that you've got all the joints sanded and looking like brand new clean copper, that's uh, what it needs to look like when you get done with it. We're going to take both of the valves and uh, seat them into the copper tubing. And when you do this, you want to remember to take the little valves out of the center because when you put the torch heat to it, it can actually melt the uh, rubber seals inside. So we're going to take those out real quick. That's a uh, that's what they look like if you've never seen one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is our soldering. So we're going to take our pliers, if we have any gap in between the valve and the copper tuning, and try to carefully pinch it together and close the gap. That was a good snug fit. And we're going to take our flux. around the valve and this one used to have a tap valve so it's got a little hole here so I'm going to have to solder that turn on our torch a lot. Not an extremely good torch.
small interruption there. Back to it. All right, now we'll let that cool for a while. Okay, so now that that's cooled off, we're gonna wanna take our valve for the suction side, place it back in, tighten it down. Next, we're going to take our relay, which I've changed. This is now a PR041 that you can get from any appliance parts store. There it is. Uh, just a little bit easier to do the video with. It's the same thing. We'll plug that on. Then we're going to take our wire with our spades. We're going to put the black on top, the white on the bottom. So, alright, next we're going to take our middle hose on our gauges, it normally goes to the bottle, and we're going to put on the suction side of the compressor. Then we're going to take our red hose, which normally goes to the refrigerator, or whatever you're vacuuming down. I'm going to hook to this thing. This is going to be simulating... The, uh, the system that we're vacuuming down is the old school gas measuring cylinder. So we're going to hook up to that and that's going to be what we're pulling our vacuum on. Tighten it down. I did forget to mention the other valve for the output. Leave that out because this is where the, the, the gas is going to be coming out of. Everything tightened down. Got our power cord. So now we're going to plug the compressor in and it should pull a vacuum on our cylinder. Yeah, you can hear it running. You'll start seeing the pressure drop in the cylinder. Let that run for a few minutes.
as you can see, it's pulling a good vacuum. Now when we get ready to stop this thing, we're going to want to take our cap that goes on the valves and we're going to want to screw it on the output. And at the same time, get ready to unplug it. Make sure that it's good and tight so it doesn't leak. And it should hold the vacuum. It may drop a bit because some of these hoses I have are a tad bit leaky. They need new seals. But for the most part, that's it. You got one vacuum pump made from a scrap compressor.